Anyway, I... <laughs> the most touching moments in Taskmaster history. Get into one sleeping bag with your arms through the armholes, the zip zipped up and the hood on your head. Then stand to attention and salute the taskmaster for a full five seconds. Then get into the other sleeping bag with your arms through the armholes, the zip zipped up and the hood on your head while still in your first sleeping bag. <laughs> then skip once. The fastest wins. OK. Whoa, 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 well, let's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Blow your little whistle. Good luck. You may don your first sleeping bag and the second and do the salute in the middle. <laughs> Off they go. Go <laughs> to the middle bag. Yeah. One's out. What? I can't get it out of the bag! What's on, Sean? Yeah, you've got to get it out of the bag. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. There it is. I'm not allowed to help. I'm not allowed to help. Still in the bag, yeah. You all right, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> Problems here. It's still in the bag. Was it five seconds, Joe? Was it five? I'm just pretty sure it was. Yeah. It really seemed like five okay. to me. But it's all. Uh, the piece of shit! This piece of shit! This piece of shit! We have two left. We have two left. <laughs> OK, Paul, it's now up to you whether or not you want to carry on. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> Before the show, Alex said you haven't mentioned your injured shoulder. And I said, I'll only mention my injured shoulder when my injured shoulder is actually fucking affecting how I'm performing. <laughs> Let's get it here. Quite a touching scene. Do you there. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I mean... It is the most touching moment in Taskmaster history. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, all right. Do you... Do, you, do we... Do we strike you? <laughs> Shall I take the task from this lady? Or, uh... Would you like to? Yes, I suppose so, yeah. I'll, I'll take the task. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we can so do this. I write and perform a song about this woman. Best yeah. song wins. You have five minutes to talk to the woman. And then 30 minutes to write her a song. The time starts now, so we need to gather as much information okay. as we can. Hi, so what's your name? Rosalind. Where are you from originally? Southport. What do you do for a living? Yeah. Um, Japanese translator. Do you have children? Yes, got two sons. Two, are they good men? Yes, they, they're a bit inept at things, but that's fine. So what do you do to pass yeah. the time? I'm an athletics official, track judge, and I do long jump and uh, the sprints. Long jumper, Long leaping. Jumper. Who's your favourite band of all time, music Good idea. Might lead us to some music. Good idea. Ooh, like Mozart. 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 One of my so favourite bands stole. as well. Have you stolen much in your life? Yeah, well, when I was about ten, I used to do a little bit of sort of sweetie shoplifting with my best friend, Elaine. I also play the cello. Great. So, do you play the cello with anyone? Or on your yeah, own? string quartet, yeah. My, my husband and a couple of friends. And what's the name of your... Um... My husband is called Alan. And did you ever do it in public, or was it just...? Yeah, it's not normally when people are sitting in rows watching. It's, yes. It's just the sound. Do you eat meat, Rosalind? Um, as long as it's kosher. Which ah. sort, what's your favourite meat? Chicken, I suppose. Chickens. Mm. What's uh, your favourite film? Oh, Hangover. Hangover 1 and 2. Oh, favourite food? Oh, Beans on Toast. Yeah, quite right. Can I ask, are the other two in the string quartet, are they a couple as well? They used to be. And then oh. one got um, septicemia, so he lost the use of three fingers in his oh, left yes. hand. Would you like to be able to fly? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's first four questions. <laughs> Do we strike you? <laughs> Have you ever stolen? What is your favourite meat? <laughs> Would you like to be able to fly? <laughs> Thankfully, he had teammates to take up the slack. 
Do you want to see uh, Mark and Nish first? Yes, I do, please. OK, so this, for the first time ever, is Mark and Nish's Song for a Stranger. <laughs> Hello, Great Britain. Hello. How are you all feeling out there? We're all fine, thank you. <laughs> well, now's the time that you've all been waiting for. <laughs> the band! Good, good evening, London! Uh, we are the, uh, the Diverse Stripes. I am Jack Brown, and this is my wife's sister, Mark. This is uh, called I'm Always Seeing You, open brackets, do cool stuff, close brackets. Close brackets. All right. And one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. I saw you translate a poem from Japanese. It looked so tricky, but you did it with these. I saw you judging long jump at the athletics. I felt so low, cause it's born, I'm just pathetic. I'm always seeing you do cool stuff. I try my best, but it's never good enough. I saw you watch the Hangover DVD, but I was busy with the Hangover Part 3. I saw you listening to the Mozart Symphony, but my attention span is, hey, look at that tree. Two, three, four. I'm always seeing you do cool stuff. I try my best, but it's never good enough. I want to serve your beans on toast, but it's a fantasy, it's nothing but a boast. You come from South, but I live miles away in Ballum. And I'm a coward and I feel a rather valid. I'm always seeing you do, cool, you do stuff. cool stuff. I try my best, but it's never good enough. Good enough. One more time. I'm always seeing you do cool stuff. I try my best, but it's never good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mm. unbelievable. Right? <laughs> Who would have thought Mark Watson was a drummer? <laughs> I, I, I think you may have just sh shaken off the whole heron thing. <laughs> I had no idea. No idea Nish could sing or play guitar. That was a miracle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and all that time, she just sat there, absolutely no expression on her face. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time in an entire series where I've got nothing negative to say to you. <laughs> Congratulations on your brilliant song. <laughs> <laughs> Draw the median duck. The median duck alone wins. You have 100 seconds. There will also be a bonus point for best duck picture. Did you say medium? Medium. Median, average. Your aim is to draw the third biggest duck, because that's the median duck. I don't, well, I don't know what fucking size what? everyone else is going to do. <laughs> so, that's sort of the point of the game. OK. <laughs> OK. Thanks. 100 seconds starting. Then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, which duck would you like to see? Duck Is that me? Yeah. Remember, ducks aren't really yellow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Big old duck. And they, they don't always look like ducks. <laughs> <laughs> which duck would you like to see? Duck two! Let's see, Joe, duck two. You asked to see... The median duck. Mm -hmm. So I did the median duck. <laughs> yeah. That says, and I have drawn the median duck. Or have you written it? <laughs> I have drawn it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I have thought.
about the tusk. <laughs> and I have written... Drawn! <laughs> Which duck do you want to see now? Dolly! That's you, Lolly. Show us your duck. I've drawn a small duck, and I've also written, uh, this has been a wonderful experience and I will remember it until the day I die, Lolly Adafope. Oh. Oh. Which almost uh, lets you off having not drawn a duck, Isn't drawn a that... multicoloured kidney. <laughs> OK, which duck would you like to see? That's you, Mel. Here we go. Oh, ooh, nice duck. Mel. Lovely duck. Let, let yeah. me thing, just want to point out, uh, considering the company we're in, I put comedian duck. <laughs> that no, no, they asked well. for the median duck. <laughs> I might just quickly measure Hugh and Mel's duck, if that's all right, just to make sure this works. Yeah. So a 21 inch duck. Yeah. Compared to a from bill to tail, bill to a 13 classic. inch, 13 inch duck. So we're looking for something between 13 inches and six inches. Which duck would you like to see? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's a lovely duck. It's lovely. It's a guffing duck. <laughs> <laughs> if it's bigger than 13, then Mel has that. won the task. It's 13 and a half inches, which means oh! Mel has drawn... Mel is the medium duck! Yes! Do you want to give a bonus point for best duck? Noel gets the bonus point. Yes. Okay, there we go. Noel gets the bonus point. <laughs> so the prize task this week... Um, <laughs> You demanded that they bring in the most desirable thing for the person below you in the alphabet, or the highest alphabetically if you're the lowest alphabetically. So, Alan has chosen something desirable for Desiree, Desiree for Gaz, and so on, until eventually Victoria has brought something in for Alan. Five points will be awarded to the most desirable thing, and the winner of the episode will bring home five things, one of which will be desirable for them. Oh, Desiree, who have you bought something for? I have bought something for Gaz. I happen to know what Guz really wants is a bully kuta, which is a Pakistani mastiff. It's a huge dog that's super protective. Kuta means dog, and bully is a, it's a bully dog. You want a bully kuta? It's a bully kuta, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what I've done is commissioned Idil Sukan, who is an incredible artist, to create a painting of one so that you can always have your dream dog in your home to protect you and your family. I'm so excited. Oh. Oh. Right? Isn't he fly? He's got the gold puffy coat and that everything, because that's your dog, man. That is incredible. Yes. Just give it a five points now. Yes. <laughs> this task has really backfired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you were going to insult each other. No, <laughs> we adore Gus. He has only got a one in five chance of taking it home, though. <gasps> Look, if I win that... it, I'll give it to you. Can, I'm like, can that... you do that? Yeah, of course. No. Stop being nice! <laughs> <laughs> Me too, guys. You're totally having it. Thank you, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have defeated the format of your show. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, cos I'm going to go backstage and cut that painted up. <laughs> guys, who have you bought for? <laughs> so, I have bought for Morgana. What yeah. is it? My G. And we it was... Weekend in the Seychelles. <laughs> It was, it was actually going to be something different, yeah? And then now we've all been spending so much time together, I switched it and made it something that I, I hope you'll really appreciate. Yeah. It's one of Guz's <gasps> long coats. <laughs> I love it! I love it! It's the one that you were wearing the other day! And you yeah. said you really liked it, and I was like... But yeah. I love it! <laughs> I'm guilty if I take that home. No, oh, you won't. This don't is... feel guilty. It's what Gus wants. He yeah. either wants in life paintings of himself or to make other people look like him. <laughs> 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 All right. What have you bought, Morgana? OK, so I have bought Victoria... Oh. <laughs> ..personalised velvet vintage smoking jacket with, oh, if that's not enough, some matching slippers oh. embossed in your name to sort of pimp up her late-night smutty... Poker nights. I mean, that sounds amazing. Mm. Wow. Nice. Are those Victoria's initials? I mean, I really, really want that. Yeah. Can you imagine a big cigar, nothing underneath, six of clubs of that? <laughs> <laughs> a 
that's how you play, isn't it? It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> that's a great present as well, obviously. <laughs> isn't Mel lovely? Mel? Mel Gedroich? Gedroich. Lovely. She's so positive. <laughs> but I find that she's positive whatever we th throw at her. Yeah, well, you asked me to do a visual collage, didn't you, of her positivity? Yeah, c can we have a look at that? Here we go. Oh. Oh, nice. <gasps> oh. Uh. Excellent. Excellent. Marvellous. Amazing. <sighs> Incredible. Epic. Oh. 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 Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, good. Oh, brilliant. 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 Great. Amazing. Amazing. Yes. 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 Boom. Absolutely marvellous. <laughs> Well, she's always like that, isn't mm. she? But is it what the show's about? Is it what Taskmaster's about? Because we brought these people here to challenge them, not mm. for them to have a lovely old time. No. <laughs> so you asked me to push her to her limits. So we did set one little extra task at, while we were at the home of football, Cheshire United. So just, is... just for Mel. Let's see if she can stay nice. <laughs> <laughs> Was I the only one that had to do this? Oh, oh yes. yeah. <laughs> Hide this ball from Alex. How the heck am I going to hide that? <laughs> you may not damage the ball. You have five minutes. Your time starts now. That is absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> absolutely ludicrous, she said. I did. Well, she, you may not have heard it, but she also used the word heck. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Heck. Heck. And, of course, that's Mel's equivalent of mega... mega. <laughs> <laughs> I think, isn't it? There's more swearing to come. Here we go. This is oh, Mel's attempt. No. Ah! <laughs> oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh, bollocks. <laughs> Don't go over good. That annoys me. Oh, we yeah. That you angry. That you angry? Oh, I had a few yeah. failure, I did. Really did push her, didn't she? She was annoyed. There was a bit of background to that as well. We also got uh, Mel as another task to inflate the ball in the house. This yeah. took 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't reach it! We then got her to score a goal in the garden with the ball, which meant she had to deflate it to get it out the door. That took 25 minutes. <laughs> Now, Ged Roach is officially nice. <laughs> <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.